Knowing where your hydrants and lockboxes are before arriving on scene can save you critical time during an emergency. Today I'm going to cover all of the steps your agency admins will need to follow in order to add new map markers into the app from within Active Alert. Let's get started. In the Active Alert app, while viewing the map screen, you should see all of the current markers that your agency has set up near your location. To start adding a marker, press and hold anywhere on the map screen you'd like to place a marker. Above the tabs near the bottom, you should now see a new row of options that include ruler, markers, and alert. Depending on your permissions in the app, these options will be highlighted or grayed out. Now click the markers option. Next, click create marker on the pop-up. Now you can start filling in the details for the new marker. First, let's enter in the name of your new map point. Next, click the marker color. This is going to be defaulted to blue if you don't select a different color. Next, select the marker icon. This icon defaults as a hydrant, but there are many other options to fit your needs. Below this, you will now see a preview of your selections. Next, select the duration under keep for. This is initially set to forever, but you can set a duration ranging from eight hours to four weeks. Once you've filled in these details, you can now click create in the top right corner of the app. Once created, you will now be taken back to the map screen and your new map marker will now be visible. To delete or edit this map marker, close the row of options that we saw before and click the map marker you'd like to edit. Another tab of options will appear and you can now click edit. The screen we use to create the marker will appear, but this time with new options. If you scroll all the way to the bottom of the screen, you can now see an add resource button, which will allow you to upload photos, PDFs, or other files. Additionally, you will also now see a delete location button. Clicking the delete button will prompt you to confirm that you want to delete. After confirming, you will again be taken back to the map screen, but this time there will no longer be a marker where you were originally looking. And that's how to add and edit and delete map markers from within the Active Alert app. If you'd like more information about mapping, map data, or to find documentation for Active Alert, Active Team, and Active Comms, please head over to active911.com/resources or follow the link down in the description below. And thanks for watching.